That's it, last game of the season, and Chelsea in the top four. Come on, boys, I'm so happy. Oh my God, you know, going into that game, I was so nervous, because it, it, it was ours to win. And we went and did it in a professional manner. We really did. Somehow we knocked it out of the park. Like Wolves didn't Brooks bring much venom. They, you know, the Wolves tend to do that, and they didn't. And I'm so happy uh, that he didn't. To be fair, you know, defensively, I'm not gonna, I'm not actually gonna moan at anything this today because they were really good defensively. Zoom had a good game. Rudiger had a good game, and. The massive decision to put Caballero in instead of Kepa, although he wasn't tested much, it worked off. I guess I, you know he he, had, he made a couple saves. You know he was confident, and it worked out. And yeah, that was just massive, massive, massive ballsy call from Frank there, but it worked out in our favour. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, the goals, you know, the free kick probably wasn't a free kick. Let's face it, you know, if Marnes wasn't in my eyes, I don't think that was either. But Marnes went in. I was went in as well, and Mason Mount with that clear cut free kick. Oh my God, I said to my dad, I said, I want to see Mason on this. And he put it in, and it was beautiful. And he's been our best academy graduate this season. I think it's undeniable that he has, you know, out of everyone that's come through, I think it's him that shined above everyone else. He's really put himself into the squad next year, into the conversation. So there's that, you know, Giroud again coming up with this goal that kind of came from nowhere, really. Like the fact he beat the keeper, and I didn't think he'd get it in, but he got around the defence and still slotted in. And then from there, you know, second half came around, and we wasn't a, very attacking, but we got what we needed from the game. We defended. We didn't go one down. Like I think Chelsea had the tendency this season to bottle it a little bit, and we didn't today. We kept strong. We kept resilient, and. It really, really worked, and we're top four Champions League, and I think that deserves some respect for Frank Lampard. It really does. A lot of people still don't respect him as a manager, and I think he deserves way more because he's top four. He's beat out Arsenal. He's beat out Spurs. He's, you know, in the same season. He's not had any money to spend until now, and he's in top four Champions League, and he's in a final of the FA Cup. So there's that. Um, you know, United, United won today, and I think they got a little lucky. I mean, that's not my not a United fan camp, but they got, I think they got a bit lucky. Leicester City, you know, they were all over them. They just didn't get that final goal, which was pretty shit from them, to be fair. But regardless, that still keeps us in the top floor. Oh, God, it's windy. I hope that's not really loud on the, uh, the camera. But, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing, as you can tell. Me and the lads are going to do a podcast about this uh, over tomorrow and the next day. We're going to do a drunk finale like we did last season, which was great fun. So make sure you tune into that. Make sure you check out the lads' fan cams as well. you got a United and Spurs fan cam on there if you care about that kind of thing. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to tell your dads. Cheers.